I'm Julie Katzman, and I'm the general manager of the FOMIN, the Multilateral Investment Fund. The FOMIN has had a pretty substantial historical presence in Haiti. Um, at the time of the earthquake, we had 22 active projects and a portfolio value of about $11 million. And in 2009, had approved a little over $5 million of new projects in Haiti. In the short term, we're doing two things. First, our donor committee approved a $3 million line for us to support our current executing agencies. These are the people who are managing the 22 portfolio projects that we have that are benefiting 340,000 Haitians today and who lost infrastructure, they lost communications, they lost technology, they lost transportation, and this money can be used to help replace all of those things. Secondly, we needed to look at those 22 projects and determine how and if any of them needed to be reformulated or even, in fact, canceled if they couldn't be executed any longer. Um, the result of that has been to think about reformulating a couple of those projects so that we can take into account the resources that some of our executing agencies no longer have and um, some of the things they'll need going forward. In the medium term, we'll be focusing on, in many ways, the strengths that the FOMIN has, and most of these are project areas that we were already involved in in Haiti, and then we'll be adding a couple of other things. So we'll be continuing to support the remittance sector, the microfinance sector, continue our work in the agribusiness area, and our work supporting small, medium enterprises, micro, small, and medium-sized enterprises, in sectors like textiles, tourism, um, and, and, and some others. Ironically, we were in the midst of starting a training pro program focused on construction that was due to kick off in February. Um, we wish we had started that program 12 months ago. What we're doing now is expanding that program. And we'll be working with a couple of executing agencies who have a great deal of experience. We'll also be looking to link those training programs both with our shelter to housing projects and with private sector companies who are coming into Haiti to focus on construction. We also have a training program that we'll be working on primarily in the north of the country on tourism.